Luntium is a service that makes it easy for applications to send and receive all types of messages, especially messages to and from cell phones. Think of it as a message clearing house or dispatcher with a simple API. As an application developer, with Nuntium you don't need to change your architecture as your application grows. You just code against Nuntium's APIs and Nuntium will take care of routing messages for you. You can start small with a modem plugged into a computer or you can use Skype, Clickatel and other aggregators and grow all the way to scalable direct connections to wireless operators. Beyond SMS, you can use email, Twitter and XMPP for messages allowing you or your users to choose the best channel for the scenario. Nuntium is open source and built on many existing libraries, but combines them and takes away the need to deal with the nuances of each. It's built in Ruby and you can use our hosted version or host your own. The design is a result of refactoring real-world mobile humanitarian applications, including our own like Instead's GeoChat and Riff. This means that it has many features that address common needs in mobile health for disaster response and special features to interact with mobile operators of low-income countries. We decided to package Nuntium as a standalone service not just to simplify our lives. We wanted to put all our experience in the open so other application developers, especially those in the health and humanitarian sectors, can focus on what they do best. Nuntium handles hundreds of messages every day from around the world for multiple NGOs, companies, and ministries of health. Nuntium was also the message infrastructure that powered the 466 shortcode in the Haiti earthquake response and has been integrated with OpenMRS, a popular medical record system. To get started, you create a Nuntium administrative user and create an application. Your application will be a hub for messages that can be sent and received in different ways. Your code just uses one API to interact with Nuntium to send and receive messages. Then you configure Nuntium channels to let you send and receive the messages with the rest of the world. You can make applications of many types. For example, you can make an anonymous hotline requiring no registration. Or you may need to do a tool for authenticated phone users, like field staff or patients. Each one of these models can be configured differently using the Nuntium options. Let's look at some interesting features. Uh, you can add and remove channels without redeploying your application. A channel can be a clickatel number, a shortcode, or just a plugged-in modem. As I mentioned, you interact with just one API across all of these. You can keep adding and removing numbers, modems, and so on without having complex management code in your application or have to deal with a dynamic routing. Uh, Nuntium deals with uh, persistent queues uh, to make sure messages don't get lost in transit in case of a mis mixed connection or uh, a server failure. Um, there's also self-test uh, code running all the time to make sure the service is reliable. Uh, Nuntium can connect to uh, multiple phone operators um, via SMBP and uh, VPN IPsec tunnels that are required for secure communications to their data centers. It can handle issues with routing and relabeling messages across phone companies, as this is sometimes complex in some countries. You can also throttle messages and set blackout times uh, to avoid imposing unnecessary stress on mobile operators if they can't handle everything at once. This can be especially important as you scale into millions of messages or after disasters. Because of the diversity of messaging codings worldwide, it can be hard to predict if applications will work across all phone models and operators. Nuntium handles many popular encodings natively and can even adjust itself if the messages you get are encoded differently than they should be. As you see, uh, there is a lot here. So if you are new to large-scale mobile systems, it may seem a bit overwhelming. So imagine everything you'd need to deal with without Nuntium to help you. So let us help you. Uh, maybe you want to enable your applications for mobile interactions, or maybe you already have an application that uses SMS and you want it to grow and you're not sure how. Or maybe you have a large mobile project in mind and need to find the right tools. Please join us in our communities. Go to nuntium.instead.org um, or the Nuntium community in Yahoo called Nuntium Users. Uh, you can ask questions there and all our team is ready to respond. 
Um, and if you're inclined to contribute code, all the source is in Google Projects online. So hope to see you soon and uh, hope this is a useful tool for you.